The nano manipulator is a microscope system that projects your eyes and hands into a microscopic world so that you can see and touch an individual molecule such as a virus, a strand of DNA, or a carbon nanotube. It works by giving you a virtual reality interface to the microscope with a visual interface that is similar to looking at a real human scale physical surface and a haptic or touch interface that is similar to operating on human scale material with a hand tool such as a pencil, scalpel, or broom. The tiny region of the sample being scanned by the microscope is magnified by a factor of roughly one million. To illustrate this size difference, we show a computer chip and a human hair as we zoom in on the sample. This hair is about 100 microns across, 100 times smaller than the chip. Here we're putting the hair on top of the chip, which is inside the atomic force microscope. Now we're going to put the top of the microscope back on. We switch to a model of the microscope and the things inside of it so that we can zoom in by several orders of magnitude. Here we see the chip one centimeter across and the hundred micron hair is laid across the chip. As we slowly zoom into the chip you can see the circuit paths start to emerge on the chip. Circuit paths are roughly one micron across. This is about the same size as the bacterium that we see approaching us. This bacterium is about one micron across, a hundred times smaller than the hair. As we continue to shrink, we see the wavelength of light, half a micron, the limit of resolution for optical microscopes. The circuit paths on the chip are about the same width as the wavelength of light. Magnifying still further, you can see three large molecules sitting on the circuit path a virus, 100 nanometers across, a carbon nanotube, 20 nanometers across, and a strand of DNA, 3 nanometers across. And if you were to zoom in a bit further, you would see carbon atoms, one-third of a nanometer in diameter, making up the nanotube. Thus, a nanotube 20 nanometers in diameter appears through the nanomanipulator's interface to be 20 millimeters in diameter, the size of a garden hose. How does this kind of microscope, called an atomic force microscope, work? It uses a very sharp tip to delicately touch the sample in different places and then uses this collection of contact points to construct an image of the sample being probed. The tip is moved by a component called a piezoelectric crystal. These piezos have the property that they lengthen when a voltage is applied to them and shorten when the vo voltage is reduced. We can use three piezos call the X, Y, and Z piezos to move the tip around in three dimensions. If we lengthen the Z piezo, the tip approaches the sample surface. When the tip pushes against the surface, the force of contact bends the thin plate supporting the tip. A laser beam bouncing off this plate is deflected by the bending and the laser beam position is measured by a photo detector. This gives a measurement of the force with which the tip is touching the surface. This force of measurement is very sensitive, so it is possible to scan the tip over the sample surface, maintaining a very gentle contacting force so that the sample is not disturbed by the scan. The height of the surface is measured many times during the scan, producing data giving the shape of the sample being scanned. However, the tip can apply enough force to change the sample if that's what you want to do. Here we see the tip being used to push a real nanotube around on the surface. What kind of nanometer scale objects do we study with the nanomanipulator? Here we are pushing a tiny gold ball. Here we see a carbon nanotube being pushed and bent by the microscope's tip. Here we have maneuvered one nanotube on top of two others. The importance of carbon nanotubes, which are flexible but strong as diamond, is that they may be used to make new high strength materials. We also study biological molecules. We have imaged a virus and used the tip to measure its mechanical properties. Studying viruses, DNA, and other biological molecules is important for medical research. This system, the nanomanipulator, uses a virtual reality interface to give a scientist virtual presence at the molecular scale. 
The film Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is a Hollywood fantasy. People cannot change size. But this new scientific tool gives you the perception that you would have if you were shrunk to the size of a molecule. The nanomanipulator lets you see, touch, and manipulate real molecules one at a time.